Former BBC Raw correspondent Michael Cole has expressed criticism towards Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's approach with their son Archie on the occasion of his fifth birthday. Despite being born in the UK before the couple's relocation to California, Archie did not receive any birthday wishes from the royal family on social media, as is customary for other members. Speaking to GB News, Cole highlighted that the late Queen's eighth grandchild has been subjected to peculiar treatment since birth, including the controversial photo call chosen by Prince Harry and Meghan. During the discussion with hosts Ben Leo and Bev Turner, Ben expressed disappointment that Archie hasn't had the opportunity to grow up with his royal cousins in the UK. Reflecting on Archie's birth, Cole mentioned the controversial photo call at Windsor where the couple presented their newborn to the world's press but subsequently went out of their way to shield him. Also revealed that the Sussexes never confirmed the birth location, which was the Portland Hospital in central London, and they have never revealed the identities of Archie's godparents, although their names became known later after the family moved to Canada and then America. The public has had limited visibility of Archie since then, and while no new photo of him was shared on his birthday, Meghan ensures that she and her children remain in the headlines. Meghan's PR team disclosed that both Harry and Meghan declined an £18,000 birthday gift from King Charles for Archie. Tom Quinn, who acts as Meghan's spokesperson, mentioned that there have been discussions about Charles sending one of his own watercolor paintings as a gift since Meghan appreciates homemade presents and dislikes extravagant ones. However, Charles, who is estranged from his youngest son and resides in the United States with his wife and children, does not wish to intrude on Harry and Meghan's boundaries with his gesture for Archie. The source claimed that King Charles and his team are concerned about potential misinterpretation by Harry and Meghan of any gift sent to Archie. The insider recalled a past incident where Charles gifted Prince William's son, Prince George, an engraved handmade swing. Harry has previously expressed to his father that he considers such gifts to be too grand. Quinn also mentioned that Charles prefers to have a regular phone call with Archie on his birthday rather than a video call. While Charles has shown interest in video calling, he reportedly feels uncomfortable with the idea, as it would entail conversing with Meghan as well. The prospect of reaching out to Archie without the need to engage with Meghan fills Charles with apprehension, according to Quinn. The source also commented on the extensive PR budget at Meghan's disposal, jokingly suggesting she should be called Madame Puff due to the numerous flattering articles written about her. Buckingham Palace courtiers denied that King Charles had given any gifts to Archie, citing the monarch's busy schedule and lack of plans to meet or approach Harry's son on his birthday.